Did you know the earliest Western accounts of gunpowder were in texts by Roger Bacon around 1267? Apparently, gunpowder recipes in Europe date back to between 1280 and 1300, credited to Mark the Greek. There's talk about Mongols possibly using gunpowder weapons in Europe during the Battle of Mohi in 1241. In England, they started making gunpowder in the Tower of London around 1346. Gunpowder was improved in the late 14th century in Europe by corning, which means drying it into small clumps. During the Renaissance, there were two major schools of pyrotechnics in Italy and Germany. Vanuccio Baranguccio from Italy broke tradition by writing down everything he knew about gunpowder in De la Pyrotechnia. By mid-17th century, fireworks became really popular in Europe for entertainment. Louis XVI of France realized in 1774 that France wasn't self-sufficient in gunpowder and set up a gunpowder administration. France struggled with saltpeter production for years, relying on saltpetermen with royal warrants. Lavoisier, heading the gunpowder administration, revamped the French gunpowder industry and even helped the American Revolution. British physicists Noble and Abel improved gunpowder properties in the late 19th century. The introduction of smokeless powder in the late 19th century led to a decline in the traditional gunpowder industry. After World War I, the British gunpowder industry consolidated, leading to the formation of Explosives Trades Limited. Did you hear that the last gunpowder mill at Waltham Abbey was damaged in 1941 and never reopened? The end of World War II saw the closure of several gunpowder factories in the UK. I see I Nobel's Roslyn Gunpowder Factory was one of the last to close in 1954. The only remaining gunpowder factory in Britain was at the Ardeer site, which closed in 1976. It's interesting how gunpowder has shaped so much of world history, right? Yeah, from warfare to fireworks, gunpowder has had a significant impact.